Equine protozoal myeloencephalitis. Equine protozoal myeloencephalitis is a disease caused by the presence of neurons of the protozoa Sarcocystis neurona in the spinal cord and brain of horses. Sarcocystis neurona is an apicomplexan belonging to the family Sarcocystidae. Members of this family have a heteroxenous life cycle, meaning they require two hosts to complete a life cycle. Moreover, their hosts have a predator-prey relationship, with the predator being the definitive host where sexual stages occur, and the prey being the intermediate host where asexual stages occur. For Sarcocystis neurona, the definitive host is the opossum. Sporulated oocysts are excreted in their feces. And when a horse ingests feed or water contaminated with Sarcocystis neurona oocysts, they are infected. Sarcocystis neurona undergoes chysogony, at first in tissues outside the central nervous system, but later encroach into the spinal cord and brain. Oddly though, infectious sarcosis very rarely form in the horse. Thus, the horse is considered an aberrant dead-end host. The intermediate hosts could be nine-banded armadillos, striped skunks, raccoons, sea otters, Pacific Harbor seals, or domestic cats, for they can be infected with the muscle stages of Sarcocystis neurona. It is when opossums eat Sarcocyst-containing muscle tissues from an infected intermediate host that the life cycle completes. So, back to the horse. Equine protozoal myeloencephalitis starts slowly but if infected with a high enough number of sporosis, may be acute and more severe. Spinal cord involvement is more common, with clinical signs like ataxia to one or more limbs, weakness, whether symmetrical or not, called equina syndrome, and some areas of oddly excessive sweating, loss of cutaneous sensation, and loss of reflexes. With brain involvement, there may be head tilting, facial paralysis, seizures, and behavioral changes. And eventually, the horse will become recumbent and then die. Diagnosis. Anti-mortem diagnosis is primarily based on clinical signs. And even then, they're not really pathognomonic. Western blot analysis of serum and slash or cerebrospinal fluid may be done. And polymerase chain reaction. Postmortem diagnosis is confirmed by histopathologic demonstration of sarcocystis neurona in the central nervous system lesions. Treatment Equine protozoal myeloencephalitis may be treated with antiprotozoals like ponazaril, diclazaril, or a combination of sulfadiazine plus pyrimethamine. Anemia may develop as a side effect of this combination, but this can be prevented by providing folate-rich forage. Prevention No vaccine is currently available. Best to remove access of opossums to horses. To summarize, equine protozoal myeloencephalitis is a neurologic disease in horses caused by Sarcocystis neurona. Horses get infected by ingesting feed or water contaminated with opossum feces that have sporulated oocysts. Various neurologic signs can arise, with spinal cord involvement being more common than brain involvement. Diagnosis is confirmed through histopathological demonstration of the pathogen in central nervous system lesions. Equine protozoal myeloencephalitis can be treated with ponazaril, diclazaril, or a combination of sulfadiazine and pyrimethamine. Prevention is by removing access of opossums to horses.